All right, guys, this is J.R. Hendrick, and this is episode 180, J.R. Story, part two, on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Did you know that there are success patterns to help you receive more, help you to live a better and extraordinary life right now? Well, I'm J.R. Hendrick. I am an empowerment specialist. And I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I am here to give you these success patterns. Let's go. Now, I began teaching law in 2003. And there was this woman that I met one weekend in, in, in Dallas through a, a college sweetheart of mine um, my junior year. Jennifer Bowers. I met this woman. And she was just... Man. She was just beautiful. Her name was Flo uh, Florence Mallers Teague. And, and we started dating for a few months and then we had a cooling off period. Because he would come back into my life. Uh, Karen Crowder and we dated from January of 2004 uh, broke up in, in April of 2004 I started dating uh, uh, Florence again and then she and I started dating again uh, in, in May of 2004 to November of 2004 and then I didn't go any and then in, in, in uh February to July of 2005, I dated Karen Crowder, and then after that, I was like, you know what? I've dated her at least at least three times in my lifetime, and that's it. I'm done. I'm done. That got rid of the last of the reactive people in my life. And I was teaching businesses all, all that time from 2003 to 2008. I was teaching constitutional law. Business associates, associations, and professional responsibility at the law school. And I had started at the time a small group of the J. Grubin Clark Society, and we were just, I, I was doing good. Now, after, after I dated um, Karen Crowder, I decided in September of 2005, I was going to go back with, uh, uh, well, actually, no. Um, at that point, uh, Florence was married to uh, Edward Teague. And he kind of became a small figurehead in the uh, Obama administration. And then, of course, after that, I... Uh, I didn't date anybody for a while, and then in 2006, there was this heartthrob reporter. Uh, and so in September 2006, I be began briefly dating this uh, this uh, young uh, reporter. Um, and her name was... Uh, um, was Jennifer Smith. And we dated, you know, for about a year or so. And then in May of 2007, I met my bride. At the time, I had a friend of mine in the church I knew back in 2001. He baptized me, uh, Chris Bartlett. He was, uh, um, at the time, he was a... Uh, Public relations for his father's oil company up in Lubbock. So, they, uh, uh, Chris and Angelina uh, Bartlett said that uh, uh, Sarah had to meet me, and so we met in May. I was going to ask her for a date, but unfortunately, she already had one. I'd already ran into her earlier in a wedding, uh, wedding one weekend, and once again, she was with somebody else. But then finally, in 2008, she uh, 
she jumped the man she was engaged to because he wasn't he wasn't what she thought she was. And the next thing you know, we're dating and everything. And then in December of 2008, really October, December 2008, we decided to move back to uh, to uh, the Permian Basin. And it's at that point that I approached Daddy. He said, "Hey, like in October, I said I'm going to do that." And he said, he turned to me. Oh, this is the dialogue. Daddy, I'm leaving law school. I want to return and and work in the angle that you got in your in your in your business. You gonna produce me a grandchild, boy? Now I'm afraid not, Daddy. The doctor said it's impossible. Um. <sighs> You really are quite something else, Jr. Not produce me a grandchild. Fine, I tell you what, I'm a dying man. My stepson Kyle, he will have the empire. And I gotta tell you, it hurt. And then in January of 2009, the day of the uh, Obama inauguration, it's my 39th birthday. Sarah came to me and she said, Honey, we're going to build an empire. It don't matter. March of 2009, my daddy passed away. And um, at the uh, his request and the request, request of his friend, uh, Claude, his best friend Claude, he was sprayed, uh, um, he was cremated uh, off in one of the little straits near uh, Uruguay, the South uh, uh, Africa, in South America. And so in September, I moved her into the ranch with a friend. And you have to understand, Swainfield is a... Uh, so, um, the ranch has four floors. And I lived on one wing of the ranch, and she lived in the other. And we stayed as friends in advisory capacity until we decided. Oh, I guess it was about two years before we got married back in 2018 that we just had to try to live separately. So I put her in a family condo. And eventually, when we got married at the ranch, we're happy. I think Jimmy's got something to say. You know, J.R., some people, I wonder why I even take advice from them. Jimmy, Lord says multitude of counselor there is safety. Don't forget, forget, don't forget that. So that's part of your story. I choose what is the best and wise counsel, and I live by that. And the rest of it, okay, I'll just be honest. Yeah, take it, throw it in the trash throw it in the trash, okay, because you don't need to deal with that, okay, listen to me, I will become, I built an empowerment conglomerate, and I inherited, you know, eventually, my brother abandoned the empire, and me and my sister were inherited, we built a big conglomerate together, okay, guys, that's the uh, story of uh, J.R. Hendrick. You got to say, you got to admit, okay, you got to admit that Jr. He, he's almost like a genius IQ. Sometimes I think he's smarter than me. Made smarter decisions to me. But really, it's not about the decisions you make in the past. I know that. Uh, Jr. knows that. And so, life... I tell you what, life has some interesting things. But you know, JR's story is 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 interesting and intricate. I created him as an alter ego to make up for my own uh insecurities and in idiosyncrasies. I, I know many of you guys don't understand. I said it on YouTube and I'm gonna tell you right now how I created him. Just for those of you who haven't listened to Empower Your Pattern 2.0 or watched Empower Your Pattern 2.0 on YouTube. I created him from the identities of J.R. Ewing, 
Teddy Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, and Donald Trump from the best of those. Now, JR is not a villain, okay? And JR is not an a hole. No. Okay, JR is not an a hole. He is an A class gentleman. Okay? He likes his ginger ale. Um, he likes his CBD. He likes talking to people. And how do I say it? JR is compassionate and altruistic. He has a lot more patience than I do. Okay, so you've you've heard the story. And you know, we're getting close to this series finale of uh Fresh Principles, and so um, the, the next series is going to be called uh, Tap P Principles. Now, I want you to stay tuned. It's 21st of April. We're going to be doing a podcast. Uh, me and JR. Called Happiness is What You, what, what, is what um, you Think and Do. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed listening to Empower You Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part, become a citizen of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, do others don't, so you can be others won't. Do others don't, so you can have others can't. And don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. Have a blessed day. Y'all take care now, you hear?